Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we are going to show you how to create a top-down assembly with Top Solid 7. To do this, we'll show you how to create in-place parts. As well, when we have finished creating our part, we'll show you how to test the assembly by using dynamic assembly motion. Okay, now in this sample, we're going to show you a little bit of a top-down design method. Now we're going to start with the bottom-up design that we did in the last uh, video example. So here again, just to reiterate, you can see that currently we can test our design, right? But we forgot something important here. Right now, if we zoom up on the piston where the Conrad and piston come together, there's really nothing holding those two elements together. So ideally we need to put a pin in there. Now we could easily just start a new design document, create the pin and insert it, but I want to show you an alternative way. So here I'm just going to right click and say create in place part. And here the software is going to create a new part for me. And I'm just going to call this piston pin. Now this part is going to be created in place on this document. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new sketch. And when I do that, the software just creates it in my default XY plane, but you'll notice my origin is down here. Which means if I create my pin up here, if I go to open this part by itself, the origin is going to be way out in Never Never Land. So instead, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the software to change the origin. So I'm going to go here and change my origin point to be based on the center of that. And say OK. And now you can see my origin is moved up to this point. And now I'll go ahead and create my circle. And just like that, my sketch is defined. We'll go ahead and extrude this. And I'm going to decide that uh, I would like to do this as a centered extrusion. The end of that length for now is good enough. And so now here we have our pin in there. So I can close my in-place design. Now, from here, let's go test our design again. If I go and move this, you'll see that the pin doesn't follow, which is normal, because the assembly I'm moving was made with bottom-up design, and the pin was made more or less top-down, right? If I let go of this here, you'll see that it will move and update. But it doesn't do it dynamically, and we want to do this dynamically because maybe we want to check for collisions with something in this pin. Well, that's all manageable as well. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this since I've accomplished a major step and added a new component. And now I'm going to go into my mechanism stage. And the first thing that I'm going to do is define rigid groups. So to start with, I'm going to say that this and this is a rigid group. And I'm just going to call it piston. Next, I'm going to add the Conrad as a rigid group, and finally my crank as a rigid group as well. We'll get out of here, and now we're just going to just apply some mechanical constraints at this point. I'm going to say that uh, between this rigid and this rigid, and the rotation axis is there. I'm going to say between this rigid and this rigid, and rotation axis is there. And finally, between my ground group and this rigid and the rotation axis is there. We need to add one more final constraint, and that's going to be cylindrical. And it'll be between our ground group and that along this axis. And that's just going to allow the piston to travel up and down. Now, from here, we're going to go create a new configuration. And it's in this new configuration that we're going to test our design. And like that, now you can see that the pin that I made with a top-down assembly method is now dynamically updating as I'm testing my assembly. So of course I can check for collisions and everything else that might go along with a top-down design. And again, this is just to show you the power of Top Solid 7. You can work in both bottom-up, top-down, or in-place. And the next video is going to show you what an in-place design is all about. 